today in my kitchen let's do together the chicken tikka biryani sounds interesting right there's a lot of ingredients that's the only hiccup here but i will show you all step by step so what happens it becomes more easy for you to catch it up okay first let's do the chicken marination for the chicken marination ingredients needed let's have a look Let me first tell you what's the ingredients in this, okay? I have here about 2 tablespoons of the thick curd. Then I have about half teaspoon of the garam masala, half teaspoon of the pepper powder, one teaspoon of the coriander powder, then half teaspoon of the jeera powder, then salt to taste for the chicken. In this bowl, I have 300 grams of boneless chicken. I have put about 1 tablespoon of the uh, Kashmiri red chilli. The chilli is not at all spicy, so that's the reason one tablespoon. If you want, you can reduce it more. I'm not adding food color. If you want, you can add food color. And I have added here one tablespoon of the ginger garlic paste, half teaspoon of the turmeric powder, and I have here in my hand a small piece that will give me about one teaspoon of the juice of the lemon. Now squeeze this into this chicken here and give this marination a good mix so the salt what we have added is just right for only this masala okay giving it a good mix this marination needs to sit for two hours minimum anything more than that is also fine I forgot to tell you, we have to add about 1 tablespoon of the oil. So we are going to start the rice process. What I have done is, I have soaked 1 cup of the basmati rice. I have taken nice 1 full heap cup of the basmati rice and I had soaked it for about 30 minutes in the water. Okay, And then what I did was, I put half of the vessel water and I am going to cook it about 80 to 90 percent. I think I would do only at 80 percent. And to it, I would have done is I have added about half teaspoon of the Shah Jeera there, and then I have added nice salt to the water. When you touch the salt and see, the water the, should be more salty, as that such the uh, rice should absorb more water. Okay, so I am allowing to make the rice at the 80 percent. I will off and take off the rice from, and I'll drain it and I'll keep it, keep it aside. And uh, uh, and then I'm going to add here about half teaspoon of the oil so that what happens is the rice and they don't turn soggy okay now I will show you the masala what is needed for the chicken I need about two medium sized tomatoes some coriander leaves salt I've taken one big onion which is finely sliced into quarter pieces and I have kept two green chilies slitted because the chilies what we have added is only a little bit of pepper and the Kashmir red chili. Other than that, there isn't anything great in that. And then here I have uh, two bay leaves and I have here quarter teaspoon of the Shah Jeera, two pieces of the cardamom, one piece of the cassia, four to five pieces of the cloves. Okay, this we need for the masala. And uh, this uh, I have about one teaspoon or one tablespoon of the ghee which I will be putting on the rice when I am assembling the rice. Okay. I need food colors. I have the red food color and the yellow food color. Now if you want you can avoid it and just keep the red color of the, this uh, rice whatever you want. But being chicken tikka biryani we can add little bit. But let's not add too much. Let's make it without it. It's going to be not colorful. And um, so, so I prefer to add little bit to it and there is nothing that uh, we can avoid about it. And I have some ginger garlic paste here which I will be adding it when I am making the masala. About half teaspoon because I have already added into the chicken enough of uh, ginger garlic. Then I have some garam masala here. This garam masala what I am taking here is for the masala what we are preparing. So if I don't add garam masala here to this masala, the chicken what we have added is only for the chicken, right? So that is the reason. I have taken again here half teaspoon of the uh, coriander powder, quarter teaspoon of the turmeric, again half teaspoon of the garam masala and about 
about three four teaspoon of the kasturi methi powder. Now and then about a quarter teaspoon of the jeera powder as well. Okay, if we have mixed up jeera powder as well. So now first, what we will do is we have to make we have to first fry this chicken now. If you have a skewer, if you want to put it in a skewer or a grill, you can cook the chicken that way as well and take it out. But I'm not doing it. I'm going to put it in a pan and then just roast it and take it out. Okay. And uh, of course, we will need a piece of charcoal if you want to give it a smoky effect. So that I will show you later how I'm doing it. I'll be making the masala in the same pan. So what I'm doing is I'm adding some oil here. Yeah, it is a little more and that's why. this chicken pieces one by one drop it here into this pan and cook the chicken both the sides if it gets little charred is okay let it get that smoky effect and also if there's any masala left in this chicken what you can do is just keep it there itself we will add it on to our uh, onion masala when we are making that there okay turn all the sides and cook it i'm taking out the chicken i just wanted some charred effect which i have got already on the chicken i've added another 2 tablespoon of the oil there after removing the chicken now to it i'm going to add in the whole garam masala what i had kept add in the onion as the masala is ready I have added a small teaspoon of the ginger garlic paste, and I have nicely mixed it well. To it now, I'm going to add in the, along with the left out masala which we had, I am adding that from the bowl along with the other masala powders I have kept. I put that also there, and then we have put the tomatoes as well, along with little bit of coriander leaves. And I'm going to sauté this masala very well. Till the tomatoes are cooked very well. Just sitting and enjoying the view to the garden. Let us see what he is doing. Add some salt just for this masala only. Because for everything we have added, for the rice we have added, for this masala now we have added, and then we have added the masala for even the chicken, so uh, the salt for it. So every step we have added salt. So do not add more of salt at this point here. We can always add, seeing after the chicken is added. If we need more, we may add at that time. Just waiting. If your tomatoes not enough sourness, then we might have to add. About one tablespoon or two tablespoon of the curd. That is purely optional. Okay. Let's go see what's cooking. He, he's sitting there, looking to the garden. He is asking, "Kukure, kukure." He is asking everyone. He is asking, "Kuku everyday, kuku everyday." That means where is kuku? He is asking in Malayalam. He knows the entire house. He is gone all walking all alone that side towards the window side. He is sitting there and he is calling all the birds and he is sitting and saying, looking into the glass door. And sometimes. If I am going up to my first floor, he will come sit on me, and then we will sit and play upstairs because there's a lot of mirrors there, and he loves mirror. I don't know for what. <laughs> so when I am going up, he knows there is a lot of mirror. He'll jump onto me, and he'll sit there, and he will play with me. Okay, now this masala is getting nicely sauteed here. Let me just see the uh, sarna. We either will add some uh, curd or we will add some lime juice. I don't want anything. For me, everything is fine. So it all depends on the tomato what you are using. Okay. I've cooked the rice to eighty percent. 
the rest 20% will be done along with the chicken when I do the dum. Masala has done very well. I'm going to add in the chicken pieces there. I'll add that masala here. Give it a good mix. Masala is ready. I'm going to do the assembly. I have taken a pan here, what I have done is, and I have lined, in fact I have put little bit of the ghee on the first layering because I will be only doing two layering, one layering this pan, another layering after the uh, rice, I won't be doing any more layering, okay. So, one portion will be down, I don't want that to get charred, so I have added that. Now I am going to add in the rice. To it, I'm going to add in a little bit of the coriander leaves. In this layer, I will add only the yellow color. That's only the yellow on this layer. I'm going to add in a little bit of the ghee also here. Can you believe I am adding all this? this to make this biryani tasty. Then what I have done is I am smoking the charcoal there. In order to get the rice nice garam masala flavor, I am just dripping a bit of the garam masala powder. If you have noticed, I have not added any kind of rose water, nothing for this biryani, okay? This, so this is just Chicken tikka beer. You can alternatively, after you do all this and you line up your parchment, you after you put your foil here on this, you can even put it in the oven. Here is the garam masala. Okay. Now I'm going to add only the red color here. That's all. Some coriander leaf here. Enough. If you like mint leaves, you can add mint leaves also. A drop of the ghee there to it. Now I'm adding nice to get the smoky effect little bit of the butter to the charcoal closing that just keep on top of the kadai and make the biryani cook show you the smoky effect okay so the smoke that's the smoke of the charcoal what we had done anyway now the heat is on here I had kept on a medium heat at a very low heat there isn't anything to get cooked in this because we are just going to give it this the as a heat right now you can touch your uh, vessel and see this is only the masala heat okay? once you feel the steam has come up till your come up till your rice it's done because the rice is almost done like it's, it is. You just need a little bit of steam and your complete wrapping will be done. You can enjoy a very hot, hot chicken tikka biryani. Our chicken tikka biryani is ready for very flavorful and nice biryani. Try making it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Thank you for watching me. Happy cooking, happy eating.